Whip TA, if I announce my pregnancy right after my sister using her exact announcement message. I'm a 26-year-old woman. My older sister Tiffany, 31F, has an issue with needing attention and one-upping me and my other sister Chloe, 28F. Ever since we were kids, if we had something big happen or won any type of award, Tiffany would inject herself and try to pull attention away. It was never really confronted, and our parents would tell Chloe and I that, you know she is self-conscious and paranoid about not having attention, just let it go. As an example, she told Chloe that she couldn't introduce her new boyfriend, now husband, to our family, or bring him to events when they started dating, because they got together the same month that she, Tiffany, got engaged, and it would pull attention from her because everyone would want to get to know they knew guy, instead of focusing on the wedding. She tried to ban him from the wedding which got overruled. Additionally, she tried to schedule her wedding the same day as my college graduation, knowing it was my graduation, but trying to pick it anyway because it was the perfect day. And I already got the experience at my high school graduation, so it doesn't matter if I miss this one. She got overruled on this one too. Well, fast forward to three weeks ago. Chloe got a new dog that she is very exceed about and sent a photo to our family group chat saying, we are excited to announce a new member of our family, Meet Bess. Everyone was messaging back, commenting on how cute the dog is, how excited they are that Chloe got a dog, etc. Well, cue Tiffany. Not an hour after Chloe's message, she sent this. Well, congrats on the new dog. Speaking of new additions, Baby T is due this November. I was pissed. This exactly the same type of crap she always pulls, and I knew how excited Chloe was about this dog, and I felt it was a passive-aggressive dick move. I saw Chloe later, and she was putting on a brave face, but it was clear that she knew Tiffany had done this to one-up her yet again. Here is where I would be the asshole. I know for a fact that Tiffany's worst nightmare is for one of us to be pregnant at the same time as her. She has told a family member I talk to regularly that if I or Chloe was pregnant at this same time as her, it would ruin her pregnancy because we would be taking attention from her. Well, I found out yesterday I am pregnant with my first, and here is where I need judgment. Would I be the asshole if I announced my pregnancy in the family group chat using Tiffany's exact message? E.g. Well, congrats on the new baby. Speaking of new additions, Baby M is due this January. Petty? Very. But would I be the asshole? Quick edit that came up in a comment. My husband and I are over the moon about this step towards starting our family. I am a couple months along but didn't have symptoms. Nausea. So we only just found out. Given I'm a couple months in, we are ready to tell the family. Any way that we tell people is going to piss of Tiffany. It's more a question of doing this or phrasing it more delicately to microscopically reduce her anger. Also, I am genuinely happy for her on her pregnancy. I'm just frustrated that she was petty yet again. I hoped she would be over that by now, but it seems like it's gotten worse. Update. Wow, this blew up. I'm going to add a little more info after reading some comments. My husband and I live across the country, and the rest of the siblings live at least a couple hours from each other. The last family get-together was Christmas, so it's been a while. Due to distance, majority of our big announcements happen over the group chat, although usually pregnancies come with photos and some kind of fanfare. Info. I shouldn't have used the word overruled on the weeding, with the boyfriend Tiffany's fiancé said they should get to know him at a few events and get a sense for his vibe and then make the call on the invite. Boyfriend is a super chill kind guy, so Tiffany said he could come and moved on to a different problem. With my graduation, my parents said they would be attending, and fiancé stepped in, saying there was another date that month that he liked better, would work better. I did call my parents and let them know, and they are excited, though told me that I should be delicate in how I phrase it to not upset Tiffany. I said this isn't her first child, and she should honestly be happy for me. If I had gotten pregnant just to spite her, I would get it. But my husband and I have been trying for a while, and we are super excited. They told me I should gush over her and say how happy and excited I am for her and then add how excited I am to have kids so close together. I'm not honestly sure how happy about that I am though. I want my child to have family and cousins, but I'm not sure how much I want him her to be around Tiffany since she is a major gossip and negative busybody. I would much rather have him her be around Chloe's kids. I also called Chloe, asked how she's been, and generally caught up then told her. 
She is thrilled for us and super excited to be an auntie again. We talked a little about the back and forth in the group chat and she laughed and said, it was inevitable. If it wasn't a baby, it would have been a new thing about one of her other kids or a new recipe or something. She said she would leave it up to me how I announce it. She also sent me more photos of Bess and honestly, cutest freaking dog I've ever seen. Chloe has had a really tough year and Bess is her husband's gift to her for weathering the storm and being amazing. Everyone in the family knows this, so it was very apparent Tiffany was trying to quash all that. We've put up with Tiffany's shenanigans for years and never pushed back because we wanted to be sensitive to her insecurities. But in the last couple years, she has really upped the ante. Chloe's kids have allergies, so Tiffany went and called several members of the family saying that she just doing it for attention and that the kids aren't actually allergic. They definitely are. She only calls me to gossip about other people. And when I've shut it down or said, you seem really concerned and I'm not there to see for myself, so maybe you need to talk to the person directly if it really is this big of an issue. She comes up with excuses and then will ghost me for weeks to months. I am honestly worried that she will try to name steel gossip or lie about my husband and I to family members no matter what I do. I should be able to find out gender through blood test in a few weeks. Tiffany has not announced gender yet and I'm leaning towards announcing to everyone else then. Also, to everyone who commented along the lines of as Palpatine Sidious said, do it, update two. So first, one of my parents told Tiffany, not sure if it was an accident or they thought it would help to forewarn her, but based on the aftermath, it did not help in the slightest. She then called a sibling asking if they knew then burst into tears saying I got pregnant just to spite her. At this point, Chloe called me and said SHT was hitting the fan. Oh, and by the way, guess who just found out she's also pregnant with her third? We talked about how we want to do announcements and both figured I should bite the bullet and send something sooner rather than later. My husband and I had done a little photo shoot a few days ago, so I sent a cute photo announcement to the group chat, New Year, New Adventure, with our ultrasound photo and a New Year's gold sparkle theme. And before anyone asks, I didn't include anything about Tiffany in the announcement or follow any script. Congratulations poured in and everyone was excited. Tiffany sent one text. Fun. Well, come to find out a couple days later that she called not one, but several others to demand whether or not they knew. Note, this was before we sent the announcement to the group. I think she believed it was a huge conspiracy against her. A couple of people asked her why she was telling everyone when it was my announcement, and that when my husband and I want people to know, we will tell them, but it's not her news and not her place to spoil it. Also, in case there were complications, it is super shady of her to tell people when we don't want them to know yet. The rest were mostly silent, saying that they were excited for both of us. Tiffany on her last, and me on my first. Well, apparently that went over like a lead balloon, and Tiffany was sobbing telling them how selfish I was to do this to her. She hasn't spoken to anyone in the family since then. Lastly, I told Chloe about the suggestion to include Bess in her announcement, when she decides to make it, and she loved it. Not sure what she'll ultimately settle on to announce her baby, but a best photo is looking like a strong contender. She will probably announce sooner rather than later. So I may have one more update for y'all when Chloe's announcement drops. Thank you to everyone who gave their input. I know we all probably have someone in our life that we wish we could stick it to and get that one sweet moment of petty revenge. Everyone has had a bully, an attention hog, an intrusive co-worker, etc. And we all long for some justice to happen. When it came down to it, I realized something I think I've known all along, that Tiffany has dug herself into a hole thinking that everyone is always trying to one-up her and believing that everyone is against her. Even those who genuinely just hope she focuses on making her life the best it can be and not comparing herself to anyone else. She has repeatedly hurt turned people against her with constant pettiness and passive aggression and that makes for a pretty lonely life. There is nothing I could do that is worse than what she has done to herself. And even if there was, I wouldn't want to. My hope is that she realizes one day that the world isn't against her and that it doesn't diminish her successes when someone else has a big milestone. Final note, when Chloe and I talked, we also agreed to stop putting up with things and start calling out comments that are inappropriate slash rude slash passive aggressive, etc and back each other up when it happens. We are also going to let our parents know moving forward that we will address any comments that fall into those categories 
and we hope they will support us because it doesn't help anyone and makes everyone else's life harder due to walking on eggshells when we try not to rock the boat. Update 3 Okay, I thought the last update was my final one, but another character has reared her head. Chloe announced her pregnancy, and people were excited, including another female family member, not a sister, but I want to keep it vague so this isn't found by family, who will call Brittany. She pops in with a message saying, Congrats! Well, not to steal the spotlight or anything, but I'm also pregnant. This was within 20 minutes of Chloe's message. Now, there is a bit of history between Chloe and Brittany. Chloe was requiring accountability over a major boundary cross, and Brittany tried to brush it off. It was completely inappropriate, and there's been some tension ever since, mostly in the form of passive-aggressive jabs on Brittany's side about Chloe. So this was pretty damn intentional on her side. My husband, being the direct, straightforward person he is, was fed up at this point and texted, Dang Chloe, sorry everyone keeps overshadowing your announcements. Huge congrats to you and Chloe's husband's name on the newest edition. Chloe responded with a poor me gif that was clearly a joke to clear the air and said, We've all just got a lot of exciting news to share with everyone. It's a big year. Despite her lightening the mood, the chat went silent after that. There haven't been any new comments since. I think he has well and truly killed that particular group chat. And the grapevine is saying that Tiffany is calling out my husband for being rude and sticking his nose where he doesn't belong. I hope this is it, but at this point, who knows? <laughs>